Hey, this is Kate, and welcome back to my Game of Crowns channel. Okay, so I've gotten tired of putting up with my own excuses as to why I just would not finalize this video and put it on the YouTube sphere, and it actually has to do with a major reason why I wanted to start this channel. And it has to do with the weight gain that I have experienced from my bi-monthly biologic infusions and from my high dosage corticosteroid treatments. So unfortunately that's a side effect that comes with my body being able to work in fully functioning order. I mean, it's kind of crazy when you think about it that I feel great, my body is finally you know, able to go to the gym. I'm not in significant pain. I'm not laying in a hospital bed crying my eyes out. I mean, and I am more worried about what I will look like in, if I'm heavier than I, I just was if I put myself on camera forever. So, I mean, it's crazy. I was less self-conscious laying in a hospital bed, literally pooping my guts out from this crap they it's named Go Lightly, and, okay, I've been wanting to talk about this. Who is the jerk who named it Go Lightly? Because please, someone in the comments, let me know who named this salty devil's milk that the doctors make you drink. Anyway, I was less self-conscious then, then, and more confident, and had just more confidence to do things that I would now when I'm healthy and I just inside feel great and it's because I was stick skinny but unfortunately that's you know something that kind of goes undiscussed when you're trying to explain to someone what living with a chronic illness can entail uh, depending on certain medications hospitalizations or just the behavior of the illness uh, I mean, your weight can fluctuate drastically and change in a quick amount of time. And that's something that's honestly mentally difficult to cope with. Um, not just necessarily by modern beauty standards, but also to watch a muscular, strong body atrophy into this flabby flesh over top of nothing but bone. And it's incredible how much work you put in and you know, the effort you put into your appearance and how it can just be like gone in an instant. And that's when I kind of like was reflecting on that and thought to myself, something so frail should not carry as much weight as it does. And I mean, it's both men and women. I mean, and men are just as self-conscious as us ladies, I promise. <laughs> should be able to live our lives without, maybe not fully without, because we do have to give you know, some sort of care about how we present ourselves. But we shouldn't be so heavily burdened with what we look like or how we act. I mean, I act like I don't care what I look like in the mirror. I act on some days like I feel perfectly healthy. Even though I could some days feel like Wolverine has literally held his claws out over an opened flame and then shoved them deep inside of my intestines and then decided to do some jazz hands. But <laughs> I act like I'm fine just so I can go about the day and live. Like I know so many people who've reached out to me already who have chronic pain or chronic illnesses. They know you've, you're expected to act a certain way and act brave and act tough and act strong. But the, the truth is we all get self-conscious. I mean, we all do in some way. But uh, in my opinion, the best way to, you know, overcome something is to discuss and support. And honestly, especially from my recent experiences, it's amazing how much just a little kindness, you know, a little kindness can carry. <laughs> well, thanks for listening to me ramble. And thanks for tuning in, cronies. Talk to you soon.